Hi guys, I want to tell you a little bit about The Orange Effect, my band's best and worst gigs, and why The Orange Effect wants to play at Gig Maven's Ides of March Day Party on March 15th at Emo's. And for those of you watching who want to see you there. Our uh, worst gig, we'll start there, because it can only get better. This was one of our first gigs, and we had been asked to play at a chiropractic convention. And the chiropractic convention was was going to be at this very prestigious concert hall in Costa Mesa, California. But we were asked to play the after party, which was at Leatherby's Cafe Rouge, also in Costa Mesa, California. So we get there. This is one of our first gigs. We uh, were a little bit nervous. We've we've already scheduled it, and uh, unfortunately, we had a scheduling mishap, and our bassist was unable to be there. So now we're down to three guys. And this is the night that we have chosen to meet with our potential new management. So we're trying to show them our best. We want to impress them and we want them to like what they hear and we want there to be a big crowd so that they see the potential that we have. A bit of a risk considering it was actually a private party. Well, we managed to get a few people in. Uh, Matt, who I'll show you here in a bit, he's... Matt has been uh, scraping pennies working at Starbucks, avoiding getting a real job like his parents wanted to, so that he could continue to play in this band. Well, his parents happened to drive all the way out from Arizona to see, about a six hour drive, to see us play at this party. We know at a certain time, we're supposed to start playing. So we start playing. And at that time, it was so embarrassing. Only The only people in the room were the potential manager and Matt's parents and the three of us. And occasionally, there's a waiter walking through, carrying glasses or whatnot. So if you can imagine, we've got this, this whole room here just gonna draw you a little picture. And there's the three of us. Two tables on the outside of the room. And three people waiting for the rest of the crowd to show up. Let's see if you can see that there. Yeah, so here's us at the top, and here, whoop, here we go. Here is everybody else, and big empty space. At this particular gig, there was no PA even. So we're playing all acoustic, and no PA. End up moving uh, our show, taking it out to the main dining room. Main, the main. Now, as I mentioned, there's no PA. So the transition was fairly easy, but once we got out there, between the clanking of glasses, the high-fiving, the cheers, no one could hear us. So we played our set. We had a fun time playing and enjoyed the, uh, the rehearsal, despite the fact that occasionally we couldn't hear ourselves. And then we moved on, packed up, loaded the car, and drove away, marking that as our worst gig ever. Two stand out. One, we played at the uh, the NAM show, which takes place in uh, Anaheim, California, at the Anaheim Convention Center. That was great, awesome stage, awesome people. But probably, I would say, even beyond that, the best show we ever had was our CD release show for our first CD, which took place at Cafe 1031 in Anaheim, California. We we set up. Two, two stages, one one where we would perform most of our electric set, and in the corner we had set up an acoustic piano and a couple other items that were uh, nicely camouflaged into the environment. We sold the show out far in advance, and the room was packed. We had so much energy in the place, it was awesome. When we 
So we start the night playing our electric set. And after we finished that, we exited uh, the stage and rolled in our new, new music video, which you can see online. And then one of the best parts of the night, we go around the building, and then in the back we had left this window crack. And we crawl in the window, and we're all in there set up, and we're going to perform an acoustic set. So the thing was that nobody knew we were there, though. So when the video ended, everybody just kind of went like, uh, what do we do? At which time we kicked into our acoustic set, and it was, it was awesome. Then we went up to the front, finished off the night, and it was an amazing night. And we hope that it can be the same way when we play Emos at uh, Gig Maven's Ides of March Day Party, March 15th. Hope to see you there. Ellie.